In the case of Hextall versus the Chief Constable of Leicestershire Police, Mr Hextall claimed sex discrimination on the basis that he was only entitled to statutory shared parental pay as opposed to women who would be entitled to enhanced maternity pay. The Court of Appeal, however, rejected his claim on the basis that policies being employed by the force weren't unusual. And actually, you can't compare shared parental leave to maternity leave because at least part of that maternity leave is used for the lady to recover. The court's decision in the Hextall case is likely to be a welcome decision for employers who do pay a higher rate of maternity pay in comparison to pay for other types of family leave. It's also likely to be a welcome decision for women on the receiving end of enhanced maternity pay because had the decision gone the other way, for example, it could have meant their employers didn't pay the enhancement anymore or reduced it, which obviously wouldn't have gone down very well. Although the decision in law is clear for now, it's likely that the demand for flexibility within the workforce isn't going to go away. There isn't a problem at the moment if you are only offering enhanced maternity pay and not offering that to other or through other family leave policies. However, you may want to consider the benefits of doing so. It could offer harmonisation across your family leave policies and it could also really encourage and promote equality not only in the workplace but at home as well which is likely to be a real benefit for women and men alike.